boys, it's been a little bit since we worked on the Purple Elite, but we got some goodies for it today, and we're gonna do a little bit of testing um, back and forth on this thing. I still have a bunch of parts I've been building up for this thing to do a front end swap. I just need to buy the triple tree and the actual fork legs, and I have a whole disc brake kit and wheels to throw on this thing. I just haven't wanted to mess with this thing because it's just one of my most dialed bikes and always good to hop on. We're going to go ahead and look right here at this prototype S23 pipe that we're going to be trying out today. So currently I have the arrow pipe on the bike. The arrow is a really, really good pipe and uh, this uh, prototype of a S23 pipe right here should be interesting to try. I like chamber pipes a lot especially like the Yusunis and stuff like that. Scooter Swap Shop homies have been putting a bunch of work in with the S23 parts and supplying all their own parts and uh, you've already seen the other pipes they make for the Sprees and they have the other DO pipe too. But here we got a nice chamber pipe right here. The little silencer, little carbon fiber. It looks like maybe like hydro dipped or wrapped or something. Carbon fiber. Nice little baggie of uh, goodies right here to actually mount the silencer on this pipe. Even the bolts are carbon fiber. <laughs> Carbon fibre. Got the silencer all mocked up on there. Might run into an issue getting the bolts in. I might have to take the silencer back off, but I want to get a picture with the silencer on there. This little connector right here, I feel like might leak oil. I just don't see how it wouldn't. It's just two of the pipes put together with this. Um, so, but that's the only spot where I think it might leak is right there. But uh, this thing looks pretty good. I put a little Honda Bond in here on this gasket. Tighten that all up, got that all on there. That's how we're looking. A little sound check. <laughs> you get down there a little bit. Close to the pipe. Remember that sound. So when I change pipes, I'm not going to change anything tune-wise and just see what happens. I'm just going to throw it in. The jetting, the clutch setup, all the roller weights, everything the same. And just see what happens with the pipe. That pipe's going to have a lot more top end, so I'm not sure what it's going to want CVT-wise. Dude, you see this oil mark right here? That's literally from the 1J that day in that video. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> I think this bike does about 70. I forgot my tack is broken, so I don't even know what it's revving to. But I'm pretty sure last time I didn't see this pipe rev over 10, 1050. I don't know why my bike's not, uh, this tack is not working right now. So, we're not gonna be able to tell. We're going off sound here today, boys. Boys, time to pull off the arrow pipe, put this bad boy on. We'll just give you one more look at this thing real quick before we throw it on. It's hard to give show it on. We're gonna keep pairing them in a second. Alright, pull this one off now. Alright, here's how they're looking next to each other. Kind of hard to see. I don't want to drop it and scratch them. As you as you can tell, the uh, prototype pipe right here. We're gonna call this thing the cheetah. The cheetah here is uh, a lot bigger chamber than the arrow, and it has a longer like this U bend here. I'm gonna call it the the neck. Yeah, I'm gonna see how this thing lines up on the bike. Hopefully everything lines up good. Not too much modification to get it mounted. Usually every pipe kind of needs some mods, but uh. 
So far, Arrow looks like it's holding up pretty well. There was always a uh, bad talk about Arrow's cracking and stuff like that. I know this is like a newer gen one. I guess the welds are a little bit different, but my Arrow's been holding up well. Um, also, weight, the Arrow's a lot lighter than this pipe right here. This pipe's a lot heavier. Um, granted, it looks like a lot more metal, a lot more welds as you can tell. Whereas this one's kind of like seam welded on the Arrow in like multiple like three pieces and it's like seamed. This one's like all uh, pie cut almost. Looks a lot cooler. I like how it looks like right here. I wish that the arrow did that all the way around like this one. So definitely looks a lot cooler. They both have like a carbon style looking silencer. Top mount silencer, bottom mount silencer. So this one holds a smaller diameter until it hits chamber. Whereas this one slowly opens up into a cone. Goes some smaller and every pie cut gets a little bit bigger. Fills it. This one's like small, small, and then boom, bigger chamber. Pipes all on there. Lines up really good, actually. Doesn't hit nowhere. Um, pretty dialed. Didn't come with these bolts. I found some bolts to make it work. This one's a little too long. It's almost hitting the silencer. Can't really tell back there. But. Everything lined up good. It didn't have the other tab, but this is a prototype, just a small air. So I'm scared it's gonna leak out of here a little bit because it was a little slanted. I probably should have put Honda Bond in that little slip joint right there. Yeah, we got a bad leak up there. So I'm gonna Honda Bond that spot. I don't know what is wrong with my tack. Oh my god. This thing hits hard though when it hits. This crank in this bike's gonna be gone soon, dude. I can feel it. Dude, it's got a good pickup right there. That's a good, dude. I think it just needs a little lighter rollers. Things running a little rich. With this pipe, I think we gotta lighten up the rollers a lot. So, I'm gonna come in here. I don't even know what I'm running in here right now, honestly. I have not touched this bike in a while. I get confused on which, what bike has what now. I'm gonna put a different crank in this bike really soon, too. All right, so right now it has, uh, luckily I had stage six rollers, I forgot. Right now it has six gram rollers in it, and we're gonna go ahead and put in uh, some 5.5s. So, I got these 5.5s right here. I'm gonna go ahead and swap all the shells over put it back in and we're gonna try out a new s23 belt on here right now all right here we got an s23 elite belt to try out um, I don't believe these are for sale yet but by the time you're watching this maybe they will be uh, but we're gonna give it a try and we're gonna put it back together now it's pretty hard race type Wow fancy stuff there a little side-by-side -side action S23s obviously has a little bit beefier looking teeth to it. It was, it's only like starting for fuel a little bit right there. boys we're messing with this pipe again and uh, I need to lighten up these rollers yet again also anyways trail tech was cool enough to send me out a replacement gauge literally like within a day 
after letting him know that uh, that had a faulty gauge. So shout out Brandon for helping me get in contact with Trail Tech and they were super cool and set that out ASAP. So Trail Tech's sick. Let's see what we're, rev we're revving to because um, I don't think we're revving enough. And I might throw this Pliny clutch I have on right here, this Pliny adjustable. I think I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on this bike too as well. Here it is, this is your tack. If you don't know, this just literally wraps around your spark coil wire. And here's a new one right here. Stick it right there, run it through this grommet, run it back through the bike, wrap it around there, and then put everything back on. So Brandon messaged me and said, go super light on the rollers. So that's what we're gonna try right now. Also, I didn't have a tack set up like, I, like you guys saw, so I couldn't tell what the bike was revving to, but just going off sound. Um, didn't sound like we were revving too high, so. All right, so before we had a total weight of 33 grams rollers, and uh, I just got it down to 30, so we lightened it another three grams, which we already did because it was at 36 before. So that's six grams lighter than when I had it with the arrow pipe. New center spring, contra spring, whatever you want to call it and plenty adjustable clutch. I'm putting this belt back on, the Honda belt I had on, instead of the S23 belt, just so I can make sure um, I feel the difference in the pipe directly before I start messing with the belt again, because I did notice a difference in the belt, so um, I didn't want that to affect the difference in the pipe because I did the arrow pipe with this belt on. Sorry if I explained that too many times. Sounds better now that it's breaking into the silencer. Feels a lot better, that's for sure. But we shall see, boys. Been sitting on these clips for this video for a while now. Been hoping to test against Chuck's Elite, but been really busy lately with the Christmas weekend. And every time I get time to do something, I've been working on the car. And as you can tell, I got the rear wheels on there. I haven't been even updating the video since the last time I filmed on the E36, but got it running, went out drifting. It's, it's ready, boys. Although I did throw these little uh, Hayaku rollers in my um, variator and they were a little smaller than the other ones. I don't think it likes it. It sounds a little like it's rattling. Oh my. Okay, that pipe rips. I'm going against the wind right now too, so it's kind of hard. It just pulls and keeps pulling. That's 11.5. The wind is crucial right now, boys. It stays in the high RPM though. Dude, I almost feel like I can even go a tad bit lighter on the rollers. That was 30 grams right there. Gone, bro. Look at that, it just keeps climbing. There we go, 11, seven. Oh, this turned sketch. Come in this lane. All right, well, here. I think I got a longer straightaway up here. Oh yeah, 11.5. 
11 8 11 9 12 12,000 bro that thing revs to the moon I think with all said and done dude we could say that this prototype pipe is legit But dude, that pipe rips, bro. Wow, I'm stoked on that. I gotta let Brandon know that we need to get these out. We need to get these pipes out there for the boys, cause uh, these are certified, bro. Marked right up. And like I said, that was the only issue I could see here. You see this little bit of oil coming out here, cause this is a weird style pinch um, thing. So I think I'm gonna run some Honda Bond in there between the two. Seal that up. That's an easy fix. Other than that. I can't wait to like go ride with somebody and actually see what it does next to like Chuck or Cole's bike and actually compare it. So that's going to do it for this one, boys.